Good afternoon. My name is Amber Bohechuk, and I thought it might be a quick idea to run you through a few details that I might like to bring up. Here we have our ePortfolio that has the references and resume on it, as well as some information about my classroom website and my philosophy of Catholic education. Over here, you'll see myself, and on our left is Mr. Brendan Bohechuk, who teaches at St. Francis School, High School Chemistry, Physics, and he's also taught Science 10 and Biology. This is my daughter, Molly. She's currently five years old at kindergarten with St. Sylvester, and will be moving to St. Luke's in the fall. Teaching is more than my vocation. It is a big part of my life, and I look forward to continuing all my goals with Catholic. Over here, you'll see my master's degree, the Bachelor of Education and the Religious Education Administration Certificate, which I have undertaken over the course of the years. Um, these while teaching full time and that beforehand. My professional development opportunities have been numerous. I have worked in the past to help develop the EPD resources for science for the junior high under the supervision of Kelly Dunn. We presented that as well at a district PD day. I've helped work with report card STEM banks. I've been a facilitator for PD days um, with science teachers under David Gowans. I've also led website development PD presented at Calgary Science Network, now called the Alberta Science Network, uh, with different workshops. Over the years, I've also served as a technology helper in the school, as a bit of a liaison, helping with the iPads. Um, thanks to Andrea Gillier for helping me learn about those, and the Chromebooks and maintaining the spreadsheets to be helpful to my school. My current participant roles include working with our FNMI team to learn the blanket exercise, going to various teachers convention, PD, and also participating in the reconciliation in the classroom initiative by um, Deborah. Two years ago, I participated in the Telespark Shift Lab program to help us understand design challenges and bring those into the school. Earlier on, I had uh, been an uh, admin CT at St. Ambrose. These are the examples of the workshops I participated in with the Calgary Science Network. And uh, with our company called MindFuel, which was formerly Science Alberta Foundation, I was able to help them develop resources. And now they have full ready-to-go kits for science that teachers just need to get their hands on. And we have other various certificates. If you'd like to peruse some reference letters, I have a few available here. I'm proud of my nomination from Joe Reno to, for Shepherd Leadership, and included are a few letters of appreciation from students along the way. Up next is my classroom website that I like to use which could be tailored to uh, use for teachers. We could make a brand new one full of resources to help supplement what is already available on EPD for D2L and also using their learning object repository. I have on my very front page uh, easy access link to D2L. That's the very first thing. And also a contact form if they need to get in touch with me. I've spent the past three years developing my resources here for all my subjects. Some pages are hidden as I hide the pages that students don't need for various years for different courses. Um, items included can be anything from midterm prep, links to other notes, PAT practice, summary sheets. Um, we also have content specific items. This week we're working on chemistry in the periodic table. So we can have items like additional videos to support their learning, images, and um, 
different samples of student work to help give them an idea of what's uh, what we're looking for. New I've been using is uh, Google Translate in the classroom, so I'll put on the Bluetooth speakers, speak into it in English, and then push this um, volume button, and it will say exactly what I've said in the other languages that students require. Then I screenshot this and add it to the website to help student learning. Uh, another resource I use is uh, having my own YouTube channel. And so some of the items that are useful here is going through instructions for labs, particularly if students have been absent. And we could also use this for teachers who may be new or unfamiliar with a particularly lab. Going through a quick little video showing how it's done uh, can be of great use to them. So here's a lab about uh, reflection and doing some calculations using angles. Uh, there really are just so many uses that we can expand through technology. And I look forward to helping teachers meet those outcomes.